I'm Steve Potter, and this is Cityscape. The Public Policy Research Center Photography Project at UMSL is celebrating its first five years with a retrospective exhibit at the Missouri History Museum and with a new book. Please welcome our guest today from the Public Policy Research Center's project, Photography Project, Mel Watkin. Hi, Mel. Hi. It's an honor to be here. <laughs> it's an honor to have you. And instructors in this, uh, in this project, uh, Chinure Ote. Good morning. Thank you. And Lois Ingram. Yes, thank you. Great to have you here. Um, the Public Policy Research Center, uh, Mel, has been around for, I guess, a quarter of a, a century. Could you give us a little background on that before we talk about this project in particular? Well, it uh, has been around for about a quarter of a century and is nationally recognized, um, but most of its work is done in the St. Louis metropolitan region, so they really serve all of us. Um, and uh, it started out as a number of different uh, centers all having to do with metropolitan issues and then merged um, eventually into what is now the Public Policy Research Center. But in the past, you, you've had uh, exhibitions of the work of photographers we would know, like Michael Eastman. And exactly. Well, um, the PPRC, which is easier to say than Public Policy <laughs> Research Center, um, has had a photography gallery since 1978 that was um founded and run by my predecessor, Jean Tucker, who was an amazing woman, and she recently passed away. Um, they, they see a very strong connection between photography and metropolitan issues, especially in terms of recording city life. Uh -huh. And this project, the photography project, is five years old. Yes. And so you're celebrating that with this retrospective exhibit and a book to go along with it. Yes. Right. And... Uh, Chinure and uh, Lois, you were both instructors. What brought you into this? Pro How long have you been doing involved with it, and what brought you in? Lois? Okay, I've been working with the project for uh, three, Since 2006. 2006, <laughs> okay. And, uh, Time flies when you're having fun. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, I was um, introduced to Mel Wat Watkins, and she um, needed an instructor to help with uh, documentation of a community. And when she said the community, which was JVL at the time, uh, I just jumped into it because at the time everyone was trying to document that piece of the community. And uh, I was very instrumental in being aware of some of the things that were happening and some of the people in the community in that area. Mm -hmm. Chinere? I've been with the project since uh, 2007. I was the program director with a local um, program called SCORES that does after school programming for kids. and found out about Mel and wanted to bring in photography to our after-school program. I see. Uh, this is a really interesting project, and if uh, any of our, uh, anyone at home would like to join us, because photography, there are a lot of um, amateur photographers out there, and there's a big interest in photography, I don't have to tell you. So 382-8255, 382-TALK, if anyone has a question. But this project is so interesting, Mel, because it involves not professional photographers. No, and uh, that is probably the most important aspect of what we do. All of the photographs that are taken and exhibited um, and in our publications are taken by participants in our project. Uh, we go out into the community and we find community groups who are working to improve the quality of life in St. Louis. And then we teach people in those community groups over a long time, usually nine to 13 weeks of serious uh, teaching and instruction in photography by Lois and Chinere, and I do it myself too. And then they learn how to photograph what they're doing uh, with their group, how their group is improving life in our city. So we've worked with many, 23 different groups uh, as of last December. Yeah, yeah, local neighborhood groups? Local, all kinds of groups. Um, Old North St. Louis Community, uh, Old North St. Louis Restoration Group was the first group we ever worked with, and they were fabulous. We've worked with the Alzheimer's Association Think Tank Project. We've worked with Prison Performing Arts, so small groups, large groups. We did a uh, uh, sort of a a uh, teenage program with Bosnian youth out in Melville, um, so the groups can be casual, too. It doesn't have to be a formal um, nonprofit. Yeah, and it's primarily in St. Louis County, although you've done a couple things in Madison County. Yes. Well, we've tried to, to uh, spread out a little bit. We did a great project in Granite City. They're trying to kind of uh, pull themselves up from... The downtown is in pretty bad shape. They're, they're trying to sort of make a little arts district, aren't yes. they? Yes. 
Yeah, which I think will be wonderful and much needed. Mm-hmm. Uh, Chinyere, talk about uh, the gr- group you most recently worked with. Could you talk? Tell us sure. about that. The current exhibit that's up now is um, with a group called Lydia's House, and they provide uh, transitional housing and a safe place for women who are seeking shelter from domestic abuse and for their children. So they have two years, up to two years, to live in this um, place. And um, I worked with uh, three of the children that were at Lydia's House, and uh, the exhibit's up now currently at Urban Eats, um, which is in South St. Louis. And um, we did um, we took a creative approach to this because the children uh, couldn't have themselves, their faces photographed, so they had to remain anonymous for, for their legal protection. legal reasons. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and we've done this before with prison performing arts, with um, juveniles in the system, um, and also with CASA um, students who are people, ch- children who were also in the system. So what we did is we photographed their shadows, so they were able to show who they are, you know, um, they were able to show their hobbies by taking photos, gra- photographs with footballs and soccer balls and uh, flowers, um, and then they also uh, wrote poetry about themselves, so self portraiture through writing, and then incorporated their poetry into uh, their photographs. And they also did collages as well, so showing all their favorites from magazine cutouts and putting it into a silhouette cutout of their face. Huh. So it was very, very fun and very different for them. Lois, would you talk about a group that you've worked with that was particularly interesting for you? Uh, I have two in mind, but the, f- my favorite is the Vashon girls uh, from the PIP program. They were uh, pregnant teens. Uh, that we we had a theme with them. Where will you be in ten years? And sometimes when you're young, you don't realize what's in front of you. A lot of things like pregnancy will stop you thinking about the future. And the project incorporated uh, journalism, and so we were able to write some of their dreams and desires, and and actually taking steps toward that. Uh, if if it was a student who wanted to go to college, you know, we would help them prepare themselves for the ACT test. Um, it was goal driven. So whatever you wanted to do, it, no matter how out of the box it was, we would give you steps through photography on how to accomplish that. So you would take a camera home and you would literally take photographs of things and objects that would enhance that uh, that tenure uh, thought process, I guess. And you would come back and say, this is what I wanted to do. And then we would go through steps on how you would get there. And it opened them up to not allowing the pregnancy to stop what who they were and to grow from that. Uh, this project, Mel, seems as if it's as much for the people taking the photographs as it is for those that might see the exhibit. Oh, absolutely. We uh, We keep saying to ourselves that we want the participants to have a really good experience. That's one of our, probably our major goal. And to learn that photography can help them explore issues in their lives, look at details more closely. And we try to be very, very creative, um, incorporating, like uh, Chinare was talking about, collage, and also uh, uh, Lois was talking about uh, journaling and also poetry. We try to, to really let people express themselves and uh, gain from doing the project itself. Then uh, the groups that we're working with, for instance, um, I'm trying to think, uh, CASA, when we worked with them, they got a... Um, They got a number of the photographs after the show came down, but also they get a CD, so they can put those photographs to work for them and the text to work for them through newsletters, through newspaper articles, and um, any way they see fit that the photographs can help them uh, broaden their visibility in the community. 